Well, a major new exhibition showcasing the work of four generations of Indigenous artists from pre-European settlement to contemporary Australia is opening in Sydney. Rachel Papazzoni met the curator for a special guided tour. Muruwegu at the Art Gallery of New South Wales has been 10 years in the making for curator Jonathan Jones and he's here to take us behind the scenes and look at some of the key pieces of the exhibition. Jonathan, we're in front of a number of shields here. What's the significance of these? Well, shields, I guess, traditionally have never been seen within the art world context. They've sort of been something sort of kept for museums mainly. And in that way, they've never really been seen as informing contemporary tradition. So by bringing them into the art gallery this time and sort of seeing them within the context of a broader sort of artistic practice, we're hoping to sort of really talk about these as the foundation for understanding the southeast region. Jonathan, this is a piece that was painted in the 19th century. Yes, yeah, so this is a work by um, uh, William Barrack, who was a Kulin man from down near Melbourne, who was one of a handful of artists working in the 1800s who, I guess, really stood at the cusp of colonisation. He was a man who um, remembers growing up, never meeting, you know, whitefellas, um, but in his lifetime literally watched um, the whole world change around him. Jonathan, these are really interesting pieces by the artist Roy Kennedy. He's actually used, I guess, two tools to create these works. Yeah, so Uncle Roy is an amazing printmaker. Um, he went to um, TAFE uh, as, a, as an adult, doing adult education, trying to, I guess, um, fix up the fact that, you know, as a young kid on a mission, he wasn't allowed any education. Um, and while at, at TAFE, he ended up becoming a passionate dry point printer and etcher. And so all these works here are actually created on, um, on, on plates, metal plates, that he scratches away in on. So, in so many ways he's continuing that that etching or that carving process that we saw on the shields that slowly carving into the to the surface to make up an image so those lines that sort of build up build up to make these beautiful forms this piece jonathan really shows the use of line by contemporary artists yeah, so the fourth generation of artists within the show are younger, sort of a, a contemporary artists who have really been engaging with the contemporary art world um, and working with the line and thinking about, um, I guess, asserting their cultural identity through the use of that line. What this show is attempting to do by looking at, you know, sort of pre-contact material with the shields all the way to contemporary younger artists is start to draw a narrative between them. And, and line has really been the one thing that's kind of guided all these artists along through, through a whole number of government processes, through different art making practices, through different eras. Um, line is sort of this continuation that people have really stayed connected to. Thanks so much for the behind the scenes look, Jonathan. Muruwegu opens on Saturday and runs until late February here at the Art Gallery of New South Wales. Fantastic work, Rachel Papazzoni. Thank you so much.